Please forgive me for the audio and video quality. This video was shot on low light and the audio is recorded during the time of Diwali. The Sony IMX586 sensor is capable of delivering amazing photos even in most difficult lighting conditions. And while the stock camera does a great job, why not push the sensor to the limits? In today's video, let me show you how to install Gcam 7 and use astrophotography mode in it. So without further ado, let's get started. If you have any previous version of Gcam on your device installed, then make sure you uninstall it. If you don't, it might cause error while installing your Gcam. I will have the link to this APK in the description box down below. From there, you can download the app and install it. This version of Gcam has a few minor bugs and major updates coming up, but the most awaited astrophotography mode works well with this Gcam. The new features in Gcam 7 includes camera coaching, feature that tips you on how to take better photos. The new selfie save as preview option found under advanced settings will turn off mirroring of print facing camera when disabled. During my test, I have found this build to be quite stable, except for a few, with smooth transition when switching through the menus and a very responsive UI. Saturation settings must be adjusted before taking photos in normal mode of Gcam. If not, your photos will be colorless. It also has got an HDR and a HDR plus option for taking better photos. This build does not support video recording and crashes the camera app and you need to reboot your device in order to make your camera work again. But if you hold the button in the camera mode, it will automatically start taking video until you release the button. Another method is to go to time-lapse mode and set the speed to 1x. This is a better way than holding the camera button. Lens blur works well, but it needs good lighting to take photos and other features like panorama, lens and photosphere works well. The time-lapse mode is same as the previous builds, but it is more user-friendly now. It now suggests the speed which is suitable for each and every scenario. Nightshade now has a new option called Infinity Focus. Before moving on, let's understand how Nightshade works. Once you activate this mode, it measures the level of unsteadiness of your hand as well as the motion in the scene to be captured. Thus, if the sensor detects your device is unsteady as a result of how you are holding your phone or there is a motion in the background scene, it makes use of shorter exposure to capture less light and minimize the blurred backgrounds that could be caused by the action. Astrophotography works on a similar fashion. Instead of a unsteady hand, you will need a steady base. The phone should be perfectly still. The sensor will spend more time to capture surrounding light to reduce noise and also capture distinct objects which are not visible to naked eye. Enough of this crap. Let's now unlock the hidden astrophotography mode. First of all, scroll down to modification settings and select the developer option. You need to enable three options in the settings. I will give these three settings in the description box down below. After that, head on to night side and swipe down and change the timer to 3 seconds and focus the infinity. You are setting the timer to 3 seconds because that might be a little shake when you press the shutter button. Place your phone on a steady surface or on a tripod. If your phone is steady, a notification will alert you. That's it guys, just press the shutter button and you're good to go. The image capturing and processing will take around a minute and a half, so please be patient. And that's how you get astrophotography on your device. The result of night sight and astrophotography are pretty similar, but the images from the astrophotography mode are much sharper and vibrant than that of night sight. The stars and celestial bodies are also visible in the astro mode. The capture button on the night sight often gets stuck and can be brought back by switching modes. Here are a few photos taken from Gcam for your reference. That's the end of the video guys, I hope you have a good day, see you guys very very soon, later, bye bye.